We're going to be checking out a game called uh, Interior Worlds. This is a game that Vinny recommended to me. Um, and apparently it's spooky and it's alien related. Uh, and that's what I got from it. But I, I don't know what this is all about. But we're going to check it out and what it's all about, I guess. So uh, here we go. <laughs> what an interest. Right into it, right? Oh, boy. Yeah. Interior worlds. Is this like an exploration kind of game or wait a minute. What's this? Hang on. Ah, interior worlds. Raptor Soft. How are these guys before some from somewhere? No. It's an ambient exploration game in which you take photographs of your surroundings. For full immersion, it's recommended that you play alone in the dark and with headphones on. Okay. Uh... Huh. And it's alien-related, huh? Well, uh, if it's anything like Voice of the Void, I'm gonna be pretty spooked, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Photosensitive warning, the game is flashing lights, which may not be suitable for people as okay. Players are okay, gotcha. To be for every stream, honestly, you know. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way first. Options, huh? The quality best. Full screen toggle. Oh yeah, it's all good. Alright, let's give it a give it a try, I guess. Yeah. Looks cool. Looks cool. Prologue. Oh, it's a long game, too. I mean, th this is not a demo, by the way. There's a demo available if you want to try this out yourself. But I bought the full game, so th I don't know how long this is. Kind of Silent Hilly, I guess. So. Hmm. Once again, you find yourself on the move, unable to get any sleep. Uh. You nestle deep in the routine of another nighttime drive for some relief. Uh. It's 3 a.m. and the immense absence of light envelops everything around you, yet. Despite the loneliness of this localized void, something is following you. Miles of barren, chalked road lay, road lay between you and whatever points you decide to turn back. Yeah. But tonight feels different. You've never felt like turning back less than you do right now. Huh? Empty lots, blackened buildings, stimulated hallways, they all lie awake along with you. We just wanted you to pass along the way, the urge to pay them a visit grows stronger. The spaces between the spaces, the connecting bridges between different worlds. The British oh the soundtrack is great too. I love I love soft analog synths like this. The British that are themselves a world all their own, each leading nowhere. But do they really go nowhere? What do they want to show us? Something tells you the next fuel stop has an answer. Check the bathroom. God, you know, when I see a gas station like this, I think of those like, then not not poison games. What are they called? Uh, th like, fuck, what is that game? They they do like fake puppet combo games. Remember that game we played last, the poop killer. Okay. I see. Uh, endlessly custom 500x the cash. Six one six games. Yeah, there we go. Huh? If this is a fucking alien game, this looks pretty atmospheric, yeah. Bing bong! Okay. Under 3D on lunch break, yeah. Endlessly custom, okay. Um, smokeless tobacco e-cigarettes. E Energy drinks, two for four dollars. That's pretty good. Any size soft drink, yeah. Is that fake jello, huh? Okay. You know what I hate? Gas stations that aren't open 24-7. Like, what the fuck's up with that? Like, gas stations here, they close at, like, 11. <laughs> there's one place that is open 24-7, uh, but you shouldn't go there. It's because there's so many, like, creeps hanging around there. Is that the lunch? Uh, can I... Can't do nothing here on lunch break, yeah. Sweet jams. Uh, fuel station discount. Uh, I guess he's charge up some gas. Uh, okay. A 
Are we done? Do I pay for it or... Oh, what the hell? What's oh, a spooky UFO? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, yeah, you know? Oh, fuck, it really is UFO. Okay, are we done? What do I do? Is a tab? Okay. Can I pick up some tampons or something? Hello? Yeah, I'd like to pay for my thing. What the fuck? Oh! Uh... What? Oh, okay. I guess we can go from the back. <laughs> Half-life moment. Okay, I guess we have to go from behind here to get in. Looks like an invisible wall, though. Okay. Move this out of the way. A key, huh? Alright, I guess I'm the cashier now. <laughs> Just move that out. <laughs> Make some trash with me. Uh... The game is very glitchy. I like it. There we go. <laughs> Out for lunch. Oh, you can get in here, huh? It's the key to the bathroom. Joel's breaking the game already. I, I, it's just started. Just started. Okay. What was that one puppy combo game where you died when you went to go clean the toilet? I, I think that was Poop Killer, and that wasn't... Uh, that wasn't actually um, Papa Combo. Okay. Someone said, why did you throw out the British food? Did you guys hear that uh, during the coronation, or the day before the coronation of King Charles, there was somebody that mowed a giant dick into the grass outside? Did you hear about this? <laughs> yeah, where's that key go? <laughs> Sent that to Mike here. Can I use the key on this lock? Obviously I can't. Um, anything else I can do? Not to launch. There's no other door. Where, where's the guy? Press E on it. Maybe I can access it. Options controls. Here we go. Controls. Viewfinder mode. Advanced film. Switch equipment, scroll up, down. Mm, no. All about that VLC. I want to grab as many things as possible for this alien attack. Yeah. There we go. Maybe on the other side. Maybe on the other side. That's where I gotta go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. That's where I gotta go. I actually am checking the bathroom, huh? It's very Silent Hill-esque. Remember the last Papa Combo game I played? What was called the... Uh, what was it called? The, <laughs> the Axe Murderer game? Remember when I went to the bathroom? And I went to go back? They programmed it so you would get killed. Total jump scare. Oh yeah, the Half-Life mechanics. I like it too. Get another key here, huh? Is this Chip's challenge? Alright, well, I guess this goes towards the back of the gate. Okay. Uh, did he do Star Wars stuff first, or did something go wrong skip to the tier wars? I just wanted to play this first. I sometimes I mix it up. Okay, what's in here? Hmm. Now we have this place. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why, but I feel like this game is more Chupacabra core than it is <laughs> uh, Alien right now. Huh? 
Oh, you just wander right into here, huh? Uh, great idea. Okay, fuck, I'm gonna meet the Riddler. You know, what if we just do this? Turn back. Don't approach, you know. No spooky stuff here, huh? Can I grab it? Too? Yes, I can. Alright, I guess we're fatal framing this. Like deadly premonition right now. Okay, well here we are. Hmm. It's very Silent Hill-esque, with the, the glowing light. Okay, so now I've exited. Riddle me this, Joey. If quizzes are qui quizzical, then what are tests? I fucked your mom. You just got a Chivo. <laughs> Stop streaming. Perfect retort, sir. Another victory, Joel. Slayed another chat member with your wits and humor. So, man, I guess once I went into that door, I went into some alternate dimension thing where things are not going to make a lot of sense. Like a back room's kind of... Okay. Someone shit says, Your comrade, my liege. Okay, so we get this camera now, but... Hmm. Am I playing as Frank West? I covered wars, you know. Okay. Well, here we are. Parking garage, huh? Oh, fuck. Okay, this is gonna get a little spooky, I think. It's gonna be like entities and stuff I gotta only capture on... On, uh, on Frank East. So I have Flash and without Flash, okay. Now uh, they're telling me to go up here, but that's only because of the exit, right? Okay. Spooky ambiance, I like it too. Probably it's gonna be look very like not sharp, but on your end when you're watching this, because the there's a lot of crust in the screen. I don't know, it's like film grain, PlayStation One style. I hope it looks okay. Okay, what the fuck is that? Uh, Fuck are these noises? Uh, is it my heart? I uh, hope it is. It's very atmospheric. Yeah. Okay, I can't get up, get up there, huh? There's a face? What the fuck is that? Okay, is it an ent- Whoa! What the hell is that? Oh, well, I can interact with it. I like it. It's got a spooky atmosphere. I, I, I do. Section A. I gotta reload the film too. Property damage. Okay. Oh, the heartbeat is when you uh, run out of uh, stamina, I see, okay. There's another one up here, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's this? Huh. Can I look at my photos? Okay. We have a dev in chat? Really? Yeah. No way, you serious about that? Okay. I think there's an entity off in the distance. Uh, who's the developer? My god. Okay. I love the sound design, it's very good. 
It's Soda Raptor Developer. Well, well, thank you so much for checking out my stream of your game. I, I, I've just started, so, you know, I, I can't say too much about it, but I'll say this. I, I love the sound design and the uh, the atmosphere to it. It's very atmospheric, which I like. Yeah. Okay, that's not good. Okay. Now I don't I, I don't know if you are familiar with this at all, Soda Raptor, or somebody said like, hey, that 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 guy on Vsauce is streaming your game right now, but uh, people have been keep telling me that this is like alien related, and I gotta play it. Um, <laughs> is there any aliens in this game? Oh. You check menus here in the photo. Oh, these are my photos, huh? I like how the flash makes it look like 2006 shit. Don't tell him. Okay. Okay, I got another key here. I really hope this game is very atmospheric, just like this, and it doesn't devolve into... All right, Marine. It's time to give them hell. Okay. It's all atmosphere. Excellent, excellent. This this is the kind of game I would actually get scared by. When you have a game like, uh, you know, there's a, there's a big turret section at the end on, on a, you know, you have a machine gun on a truck and you gotta shoot down all the UFOs. That's just, you know. Can I go down here? Something gonna come out of here? Can I interact? Can I crawl in? I guess not. I have a key now, though. I don't know if I, if I have infinite shift or not. I mean, when I'm close to a thing... Uh... That opens something? There's a doom 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 doom. That did something over there, I think, yeah. Let's get down here. We got another key. Uh, key. Attention. Can't see shit. What's it say? There are so many games to play. 051285. I'm gonna write that down. 051285. <laughs> Why did I take a picture of the trash? <laughs> Alright. How do I do that? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Can I go into the the bathroom? I guess I can't. So we have two keys right now. We have white and red. Let's see here. Has he found the duende? This is where it came from, actually. Let's see if I can open this up with my new keys. I hear something. Gotta reload this first, too. Alright, I have three left. Something in there. Uh, I don't think so. Head under here, huh? The style is a little unique in this game. It's like, it's not full on PlayStation 1 style, but it's, it's, it's like a mishmash of, of style. It looks cool, it looks cool. If anything, if you squint your eyes, it looks more like a PlayStation 2 game. If had a more motion blur, I guess. Okay, is there one up here? Why are we taking clouds of fog? Yeah, matter. Okay, is anything up here I can do? It's more dreamcasty, I guess. Yeah, a little dreamcasty. Two more photos until the Slender Man gets you. Okay, we didn't go on the top floor, so let's go check that out. There's a frame of a different photo, maybe in the photo album. Let's see here. I love how these look. They look creepy as fuck. I just noticed this is the actual date as well. The fuck, man. I was looking at chat and my eyes. I opened the door. What the fuck, man? 
Hey man, how you doing? Okay, that's a bad idea. That's a bad fucking idea. Is he even in the photo? Okay, that is that is fucked. That is fucked. He was just sitting in a chair? Oh great, now he's been unleashed. What the fuck? There's an alien in the goddamn game. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Huh? There's a shiny button on the photos you should check. I liked them. Okay. Now, now I'm all bothered. I'm all bothered because of that. Too. It's him. Okay. Well now we gotta. Now we gotta go check the bathroom. I guess uh, the bathroom was around here somewhere, right? I got totally disoriented because of that. I wasn't ready for that. There's something in here. My car. Thank you for choosing the Canon Single Lens reflex, re reflex Camera. In order to get the most out of the camera, follow these instructions. Advance to film or between shots. Frame a subject more accurately by holding Enter Viewfinder mode. Okay, so I'm gonna just Z and X. Okay. While in Viewfinder mode, take points of interest may appear nearby. Take photos of these locations. Once all the photos have been captured, follow the brightly lit exit indicators. Okay, gotcha. So we're going back here, but that's not where we're... Wait a minute, what's this? No, just some light. Okay. The bathroom. The bathroom. Right. Yeah, the, this, this, this game has incredible atmosphere. I, I really like it. Like, I didn't know what to expect, but... But just the ambient drone and the music is kind of being like little. That that's that's how you build a good atmosphere in a game. I really like it. I really like it. You know, I also like the minimal UI. It's very basic, but that's all it needs to be. Here we go. Maintenance room. Just jump over these. Actually, can I? I guess. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. So I can't check the bathroom. Oh shit, not <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Look how grainy it is. Okay. So this is there, and this goes there. Okay. If I head over here. There's anything I can do up here, I forget. There was like a thing, right? No, no, no. I mean, stupid. Wanna delete the useless photos? <laughs> Just forget what happened. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is where we gotta go, right? Ah, this was the bathroom, but I can't open it. Okay, so we have a red key somewhere, but I'm not sure where it goes. Uh... Hmm. That goes there. That goes there. And I can't... Can I go in here yet? No, I can't go in here yet. Okay. Fecal photography. Well, this looks a little odd. What happened here? Did the Duende got out? Is he causing mischief? This the exit, but we don't. We shouldn't be going. Wait, yes, yeah, that's where I gotta go. I think. Okay. He had a little snack. Yeah. I can get get down here. So there's something really ominous. The the landlord is doing a lot of like uh, building downstairs from where I live, and there's something about like raw exposed concrete that's a little creepy. But when Frank was visiting, uh, there was a hole in the floor uh, of like there's this metal, uh, like metal thing that sits on top of this hole in the floor, 
and this hole in the floor once exposed goes down so deep you can't even see the bottom of it it just goes straight down and i wonder what what happens at night something crawls in and out of it Frank was very intimidated by it. He was like, you can fucking slip down there and just like fall forever. Like, yeah. <gasps> Cha, motherfucker! Oh, what the hell? Dude, you, you're doing alright. Well, you know what? You're not as bad as the, uh, the other guys. Take a photo, yeah? You okay with that? <laughs> I gotta adjust the focus here, like they told me on, on the viewfinder. Yeah. Some blurry ass po photos. Also, note that the uh, the alien is not a smoke entity like the rest. That might be it. I don't have any other ones. Shit. No, I need all of them. I need all of them. Hmm. So this is like an Easter egg hunt, kind of. But where the fuck could the last one be? Hmm. Maybe it's just li lingering around. I haven't seen it. Okay. Anything here? Nope. I see it. I see it. It's on top. It's on top. Right there. Gotcha. Okay. Not as cryptic as I thought it was going to be, but I noticed it. I saw it. Alright, cool. Alien has been activated. <laughs> Alright, so you need all the photos. So. You gotta have sharp uh, uh, ears and eyes. Metro. I've said this before, maybe on a Voice of the Void stream or whatever, but uh, one thing that really creeped me out as a kid was when you went to school at night and you saw the empty hallways with nothing in it like it's the kind of same feeling when you had like what's it called the, the student evaluation thing you went there with your parents to sit down with a teacher and when nobody's at school and it's just you and it's like a whole different atmosphere okay what's this Thank you for purchasing the Corman Multi-Use Pocket Compass. In order to get the most out of your new tool, please follow the handy guide before beginning navigation. To equip or holster your compass, use the scroll wheel. Follow the direction of the compass needle to find the nearest photo anomaly. Okay, that, that helps. Once all necessary photos and anomalies have been captured, the compass needle will point towards the exit. That's awesome. I used to play laser tag with the friends late, at af late after school was empty. Amazingly fun. Okay, that, that helps. Well, that's not good. Something just came from here. Alien release. He's a mischievous little guy, that guy. Laser tag in school? How the fuck did you get in at night? Alright, let's take a photo. Doesn't really matter if it's in focus or not, though. Okay. Friendly Duende just wants to play hide and seek. Yeah, but not me. <laughs> See the compass here, it's in this direction, so. Uh... Okay, I couldn't tell. There's a moped outside my house, and I thought it was in the game. I'm like, that's really good sound design. Is this a silly game? Uh, it's more atmospheric horror that I like. Yeah. No exit. Okay. Is there any point to the alien, I wonder? Does he factor in? Like, you get something di different if you capture him. Can I go through here? No. Bring my trash along. Actually, I'm supposed to go here. Can't push it open. Can I wedge this in? Oh fuck, paranormal VLC. 
can get a secret level if you capture all of them. Really. That looks like a really goofy face. It looks like a real Delta Rune face. Look at it. I did actually take um, camera and photography in um, in college for a little bit, and it was it was fun, but. There was something really lazy about it, because it was like, okay, all you guys just go outside and take a picture and bring it back. And all I did, <laughs> uh, they was just like, venture one meter away from school and take a picture of a leaf and be like, top student. They're like, this is a great photo, Joe. I'm like, oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, I guess I gotta turn on the... I gotta activate this somehow. It's like the teacher gave zero fucks. Oh, yeah. No way. They didn't give a fuck. My teacher actually wanted us to go to museums and art areas for pictures. Yeah, we didn't get that. <laughs> we didn't get that at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Was it film photography? Uh, it was just learning what uh, like shutter speeds and stuff was, you know, you know. But it wasn't like a serious thing. It was like, you know, if we get into photography, we can take this course. <sighs> Holy shit, the train! No borders, no bordering or depart departing the station. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see where the compass is telling me to go. Whoa, is it right behind me? Whoa, am I in it? The one over there, I guess. Huh. So you sound tired. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just into the game. Alien trains go, woo! Now, how do I get down here? I should be jumping on the tracks here, but... I see you, motherfucker. I see you. I see you. Huh? Think you can hide from Joey? Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> so, somebody in chat says, it's just a little dvendi. But they spell it with D-W-E-N-D-O-I. <laughs> dvendi. <laughs> the four kids dub. Dwendi. There we go. That's where I gotta go. Huh? Something big up here I can get. To. Nope. It's just a light. To... <laughs> Wee! Alert. Alert. Unfunny bit. Alert. Alert. Okay. Got another entity over here. I knew this was a silly game. Okay, so the, this train has stopped here. Is it just too... Because when you have a subway, like a New York City subway, I, I imagine it's, you know, I never went on one, but I imagine it's a lot like this with the graffiti and all this kind of shit. Is it too late to just fix it up and make it look nice? Because Japan never had that problem. It's just pristine over there. Yes. Yeah. Something I hear in here, so... Can I get inside? It's a like golden eye. There's barely any graffiti. Is there? Dr. Bean's private reserve. Graffiti is cool in its own way. I, I guess graffiti is cool, but I can never read what the fuck it is. It, it's like, dude, I have an easier time deciphering kanji than I have, like, graffiti writing. Like, I'm like, ah, right. Okay. I heard something, but it might be from the other side. Some graffiti are better than others. So. Here we go, we got another one here. New York subways run off piss fumes and rats. <laughs> piss fumes and rats. <laughs> I am 
Sneaky. I am the Rat Man. Hi, I'm Piss Fumes. There's something down here in this subway. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I'm sure I should be heading back, actually. There was definitely something in here that I could have gotten. I can actually tilt, and I can zoom, too. Right. Is that a person? I can't sharpen it up. Yeah, that's a person. That's a person over there. We're gonna head back here. Yeah. I didn't see him. Take a photo of him? You think that's a good idea? Miss the station. Okay, uh, sure, why not? Anything in here? I think these blue doors don't really do anything. Okay, what's in here? No, nothing. Any plans to play Entropy Zero 2? I don't even know what that is. What it, what's that? Uh? Half-Life 2 mod. Uh, oh, you... Uh, hmm. Tell me a little bit more about it. I might know what it is, maybe. Uh, okay, is this person still here? No, he's not. He disappears when he goes... Okay, I like that. I like it. Okay, nothing in here. Can I just kind of squeeze in? Can I cheat? <laughs> no, I can't. Wait, hang on. There it is. It's a really good Half-Life 2 mod. Is it recent? It's a it's a game where you play the Combine. Oh, shit. Wait, no. Did this mod come out in, like, 2006? Like, it, it's really old. Or am I thinking of something else? No. 2022. Okay. No, I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean... I was also recommended uh, My House, which I'm going to be playing soon. Not this stream, but soon. Um, so I might get into more like Half-Life 2 stuff and more Doom mods this year. Because uh, it's been a while since we last played some Doom content on the stream. And I, I'm starting to miss it a little bit. You know, I was very doomed out after Doom Competition 2. Um, but after, like, it's been a couple of years now. I'm like, I think I'm finally ready to, uh, to go return to it, you know. I still gotta finish up the last DLC of Doom Eternal, it's been a while, but, yeah. One last one, huh? My house needs its own segment, it's very long, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna do just my house and see what it's... what it's all about. Anything in here? No. Now this would be the last one. Okay, it might be nearby. Let's see how. You don't own a house here. Okay. Uh. My house is like a three, four hour stream. Yeah, I heard it's very long. It's very long, but uh, I, I like it too. Uh. And the question is... Uh, let's see if we can find this nearby. Uh. This goes in here, right? Or is the last one over here? No. Okay. Wait, wait, is there an alien down here? I have a feeling he might be hiding. No, I don't think so. Am I gonna play Tears of the Kingdom? Yes, yes. And I have a I have I'm not gonna play Breath of the Wild for you guys. But before I do Tears of the Kingdom, uh, two things. First, Resident Evil 4 needs to be finished, so I'm gonna be dedicating the common days to finishing the game first. And before we do Tears of the Kingdom, I'm going to do a modded Breath of the Wild fun stream for our weekend. Uh, 
So you can look forward to that. I mean, the game comes out the 12th, right? Yeah, okay. So uh, we're gonna do that. So Nintendo's gonna get mad. <laughs> It's okay. I, I I emailed Shigeru Miyamoto myself, and he said it's okay. I emailed his hotmail and said it's okay, Joey. I like you. That's why I want you to play Chris Pratt in the next movie. Could the next one be in here? I wonder. He really said, yeah, he really did say that. He said Joey, my main man. Listen, I know my English isn't great, but. Yo, Finna, check this shit, okay? I know you like that Zelda. I know you like them shitty mods, lol, comma. I do too, smiley face. But listen here, homie. Get the sex mod for Breath of the Wild. Get nude link. I approve myself. Here's a picture of me giving a thumbs up in the nude to approve of what I'm saying. God bless. See ya. This is real and it happened. So if Nintendo sends me a threatening letter saying, you can't upload the stream, I'm gonna say like, yeah, what about this picture though? Checkmated again, Nintendo. <laughs> There's actual nude Zelda mods for Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, What's erotic about, like, running in a grass field set to Tiny Tim as Nude Link? You, you just, like, want to jerk off to, like, a happy dude just going, Ha 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 <laughs> Floppy dick. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes. Hmm. Someone said, Cheeks make me laugh. <laughs> Cheeks. Cheeks make me laugh. Alright, why not? Why not? Very cool. Okay. How come how come nobody likes the Goron sexually? Right? Everybody's always like, oh Princess Zelda, oh, Link so sexy. What about the uh, Dorongo? What about that guy? He's rock hard. He's got rock nipples. Like, he's down, you know? He eats big cocks, I mean rocks. He's... He's down. <laughs> what about Morshu? I'm gonna get up here. So this is breaking the atmosphere of the game, because I'm talking about this. Okay, but I have all the photos now, so it's fine. Besides, Dodongo, Durongo uses protection. Durongo's protection ready to roll. The airport. I know it's Daruk, by the way. You don't have to fucking inform me. I'm making a joke. <gasps> the speed, the speed tracks work. Yeah. Airports, I don't feel so creepy at night, though. Mainly because there's like people in it for like, even at night. It's not that bad. Don't be a stranger. Do you find airports creepy, chat? Empty airports are fucked. Yeah, completely empty. That's a little different. Oh, there it is. There's an empty airport in Denver. <laughs> Damn it. You're an airport. Uh, only if they're full of demons. Uh. I imagine that the North Korean airport... Uh, the one, just this one, <laughs> is pretty ominous to be in. Now boarding, baggage claim closed. Uh. I have a confession to make. I've flown around the world. Uh, I've been to Australia, Japan, America, uh, Germany, 
four places I've been to. And not once have I ever brought baggage with me. I've only taken a backpack and pick, put, pick my most valuable shit and have it close to me always. Because there's no fucking way I'm having my most important shit lost. I have no, never done it once. Ever. No, only backpack. Every time. I don't trust it. Uh, crystal. Uh, what does this say? We get something that. Oh. <laughs> I keep thinking of of the ring and the, the spinning chair, or whatever it is. I think it's a parody gift, but there's a guy that goes on it and then pukes. Maybe I can see something here that isn't normally shown. Let's find out. I think it's just an animated GIF. Yeah, there's nothing on here. So you were freeballing for a week in dirty clothes? No, I only bring clothes. <laughs> I bring like clothes and insulin. That's it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not a woman. Okay, I don't bring like 15 sun hats. What are they called? Sun hats. <laughs> you should have some kind of hat. My mom used to always bring that. She used to bring a lot of sun hats when we went on vacation as a kid. And she would be get very angry. She would always be like, I need my sun hat or we're not going on this fucking vacation. I'm like, whoa, what? Okay. Sun hats are pretty. Oh. Let's see what's in here. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Let me see what happened, but it's deactivated. Can't get through here, huh? And I need that. Alright, fine. Oh god, there's gonna be something skittering across the the hallways here. I know I have a feeling. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, what the fuck? Is... Uh, why was I made? Okay. Yeah. What face? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the butt face. Uh. Do I have any cash on me? I don't think so. Hmm, did I miss something in here? So I'm here, and the hallways goes down here. So, okay. So th these are all the doors, I think? Let's take the compass. Uh. <laughs> Running up the escalator. Okay. Joe, can I borrow twenty dollars? Let me tell you something. Twenty dollars is a lot, okay? That's a lot of money. All right, I haven't been here yet. Yes, I have. I... Holy shit, that kind of spooked me. That's fine, okay? What else is metal? This has got to be metal. Try to stop me, man. Sorry, you cannot fly. Why not? No metal items. But I'm a fucking metalhead. All I listen to is corn and limp biscuit. It's my life. You're not flying. What the fuck is that noise? Uh, kind of warped. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's this, okay. Huh. Alright. Employees only. I hear something behind this. I can't open it yet, but I, there's something behind it. 
Yeah, I knew it. There's two bathrooms here. Can I go inside? Is there gonna be a fucking alien in the bathroom? I swear to God. <laughs> Better not be. I'm gonna leave a bad Steam review saying the game scared me. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, what the hell? Someone's there pushing these things down, man. When they pushed it. Okay, this is a big area. I, I really like airports. I don't know why, man. I, it, like, it's very, like, out of character for me to be comforted by such vapid, like, commercialism. But I like, like, being there and being people watching and seeing people go places and being so like here's a million products around you it's like a little mini world I, does it make any sense it's the vaporwave aesthetic <laughs> i don't know if it's that but is he hiding somewhere here i wonder he's going to a mall dude we only have a really small mall man i no you know, you know, you know what it is with airports. I like they're open twenty four seven. That's that's what I mean. It's never like okay now bye bye. Are yeah, you seeing the planes come there? I, it's like flying. It's cool. Okay, this is not so cool. These planes look fucked in the dark here. Well, what is going on here? I don't think there's a, just a normal door like this. This is us on the Brazil trip. I still have yet to take you guys back from Brazil, by the way. But I think this time I'm gonna do it in a Cessna, just for the funny. Because <laughs> last time we did it in, in, a, in a 747. We gotta, we gotta do it traditional style, you know how. Let us out. Okay. Let's see here. Now we're done with that. This one here, too. The Dallas, Texas airport was messy and loud, though. Do you ever feel this way where if you go traveling and you come home, you can kind of like let the belt of your pants out and you go. Oh, fuck, finally I can be myself again. You know what I mean? Like, you're on your best behavior. You you represent you, uh, you, like where you come from when you're overseas. But when you come home in your own city, that's when you can, okay, now I can start swearing with people and being an asshole, you know? I feel that way every time I'm like, oh, finally I see my own sights. You know? <laughs> I can finally beat myself off again. <laughs> You know when you've been outside for like uh, three weeks, come home, and you're like, my apartment smells kind of weird. Is this what it smells like? Because you haven't adjusted to the smells yet. <laughs> what? I love that confused cat emoji we have in chat. What? Okay, so now we have that. Say it didn't work yet. No, but I can maybe go through here. Okay. I was gonna have a heart attack. I don't know why. I looked up here and I thought there was a man running down the stairs towards me. Like, you see, you see this part right here, how it kind of like flimmers a little bit. I thought it was like a figure. I, I'm going crazy. <laughs> Gumballs. No gumballs. Wait, this one. <gasps> Look at this. Guys, you want to sprunk this? Let's see how many we can create. You cannot stop me. We're going to be here for a while, guys. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it all day. Guys, how about this? There's 3,548 watchers, viewers. How about we dedicate this many balls to every single one? Wait, are they disappearing? You're smart, Dev. 
You just prevented a nuclear war. <laughs> you know I would have done it. You know I would have done it too. There's no stopping Joey. Something in there. Gotta unlock it first though. Wow. Large print giveth. <laughs> do, do, do gumballs, bubblegum stuff, does, does it ever go out of date? Or is it like forever food to you? Man? Let's see if there are any cross out of here. Sugar doesn't expire? Uh, yes, it does. You know when they say that honey never expires? Y yes, it does. Yes, it fucking does. My dad used to buy a shitload of jars of honey and he had jo a jar of honey that was like 10 years ago. Still wasn't eaten up. And I'm like, dude, no, it's turning to soup. <laughs> Not with that attitude. So I said, everything has an expiration date. That's not true. There's one thing, there's one thing, there's one thing that has infinite expiration dates. Chickens. Hear me out. I thought about this the other day. Chickens have infinite, infinite expiration dates. Think of this. In the primordial age before man, dinosaurs roamed the land. These dinosaurs eventually evolved into avian creatures known as birds. Dino nuggies. Chickens turn into nuggets. Dino nuggies. It reverses, it never ends. Birds turn into dinosaurs, turn into nuggets, nuggets. <laughs> Who let him cook? What, nuggets? Okay, I have a question. Do you still buy chicken nugget? Fucking hell. Do you buy chicken nuggets? Do you? I need to investigate your nipples. Uh. Fuck the, <laughs> the finder on it is fucked. Uh. Hello, buddy. I'm, I, I don't like standing so close to you. Jesus Christ. I, I I feel like if you're above the age of like 20, you just buy like breaded chicken. Okay, the, the chicken nugget's not meant for you anymore, okay? Fuck you. What? Wrong. Okay, hear me out. What if I told you like what do you, what do you Americans call it? Chicken chicken dippers are just large nuggets for big boys. Okay. <laughs> Tendies, that's what they call. It. Yeah. Tendies, yeah. Tennis is nuggets for big boys. <laughs> nice. Uh, got all of them now, huh? Which means that we can get the last piece here, and then return home. <sighs> what the fuck? Yeah. What the hell is that? Hello? I saw you! Duende in the wheelchair. <laughs> Alright. Last chance to look at me, Hector. I'm playing soccer with... <laughs> with that. You know where... you know where... What, what's the actor that betrays um, Gus again? What was it called again?
Giancarlo Esposito. That guy's Danish. I'm not even fucking making that up. He's Danish. <laughs> Look where he was born. Danish Italian, actually. I'm just saying, Gus. Gus should have enterprise than Lego instead. <laughs> Apparently saying Legos is incorrect. You don't say it that way, you say Lego pieces. Cameloza. <laughs> Gus of a fun fringe. The hotel. Okay, so it's... It Kind of a mysterious journey so far. Okay, I guess that's one. Hotel Mario. My seven Koopa hotels. Okay, that's not good. There's some guy here. Get that piece too. Actually, I I see this and I think of like a what do you call it, a wedding. I think I might be going to a wedding next month, guys. And I'm gonna have to put on a suit for the first time in my life. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Me in the suit. We gotta learn to tie a tie a what do you call them a a tie. <laughs> Wear a kilt. Congrats, I'm not getting married. The water looks nice. I keep thinking this is a PlayStation 1 game, even though it's not, but I feel the aesthetic is is, is it nice looking. No going up here. <laughs> Alright. Did you not wear one for graduation? Graduation? You mean like, oh, you mean that thing that happens in second grade when you when you quit school? Ah, oh, yeah, no, 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 I didn't do that. Hey, buddy. <laughs> My epic gamer lifestyle. We have a tradition here in Sweden where, um, when you graduate high school or college or whatever it is, uh, you get a little sailor hat on and you go on these alcoholic uh, trucks. Basically, there's a John Deere tractor that drags you on a bunch of uh, things behind it. You stand on them and you go around the town for an hour getting drunk. That sounds wild. I didn't participate. I didn't participate. You know why? You know why? Honestly, this is, it sounds so depressing and it sounds like, dude, lighten the fuck up. I didn't want to celebrate graduating because I felt like, now now I'm unemployed. What do I have to celebrate? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> this has nothing to do. And I'm also kind of antisocial with people that I didn't but like, want to hang around. <laughs> I just opted in not to do it. There's one here too. Joel, what's my college degree? I guess media, actually. But I'll tell you what, uh, this sounds fucked up, but I, I have no use for what I uh, went to school for. Because everything they taught at school, I was better than the teachers. I don't. I know that sounds very narcissistic and crazy, and like, dude, get the fuck off your ego train. But at one point, I had to teach the the, the teachers how to do something in Photoshop. Like, no, 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 that's not how you do this. The the worst thing in school though was um, we had a PC place and a Mac place, and during the Mac. Mac hall as we called it um, I started really sucking at my grades because I felt like uh, I couldn't do anything on a computer 
Like, I was like, holy shit, I am- I feel like my dad. You know, like, my god. The Mac Hollow. It's weird as fuck to go back to your old, like, stomping grounds in, in school. You visit that place, and all the teachers still fucking working there, and they look just the fucking same. It's like they're frozen in time. I really, I really gotta give it to uh, teachers, though. They're, like, teachers have a hellish fucking job. The fact that it is, like, dude, dude, the teachers, teachers are, like, tormented at their workplace. You have, like, screaming, stupid children that drive them insane every day. Like, dude, it sucks, and, and their pay is not good either, you know? The, the worst thing, though, is when I, when I was, like, in third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, I loved seeing shit go down. There was always a troublemaker in class, right? And what I would do is I knew this person would instigate shit and they would just escalate. And I drew, uh, I drew sadistic joy, the, the German word schadenfreude, from watching the teachers have a meltdown. But the problem is I, I added onto the flames. Because when the teachers were lecturing us saying like, you guys need to shut the fuck up and all that stuff. And they were waving their fingers at us. I used to do this thing where we weren't meant to be laughing. And I did this thing where I turned to my friend and I started slightly smiling like... <laughs> <laughs> and they burst out laughing. And the teacher would be like, God fucking damn it, I told you shut the fuck up. You know. I was, I was a devil. I was a devil. I did that in the army. Are you in the esports army? Are you in the K pop stan army? No, but I, I have a lot of respect. I, I, I honest, honestly, I felt I felt bad going back to school, uh, like and seeing my old teachers. I was, I almost wanted to like apologize to them. I said like, dude, I'm sorry for the years you had to put up with me. Uh, I was growing up and my head wasn't fixed, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, like I feel I feel bad. I wanted to buy him flowers, like you know, you put up with me, you know. I think it's on the upper floor here, actually. <laughs> it's fixed now. Well, for one thing, I don't eat, like... Erasers. Dude, have you ever chewed on an eraser? It feels amazing. I love that shit. It feels bad. No, it feels good. Okay, we need two more. We need two more. I'm gonna miss another Duende, too. They don't show you how many Duendes you've collected, actually, so... Do you also eat cement? No, I'm not a cement... ...drinker. <laughs> okay, uh... Let's see... If it's not there, it's got to be on the upper floor, right? Fire exit, here we go. I know you're in here, I had a feeling. Now, can I collect anything in here? Loathsome behavior. I think, I think the worst thing that happened in school once, I talked to a couple of friends about this lately, but my friends would like give me money to do really stupid shit, and I did it. And they didn't live up to their promises. What's this? A bag of chips? Like for example, I, I drank from a dirty water puddle once. And my friend was gonna give me 50 bucks for it. And I'm like, 50 bucks is a lot of goddamn money. Uh, and I did. I drank from it. And he's like, I can't believe you fucking did that. Elon Musk? What the fuck you doing here, man?
I wonder what this is all about. Today, these gamers are ruining our society. Violence in video games is going to destroy society. Tetris and Pong. Refer to the streets as Block and Two Pixels is making kids go nuts. What are they saying? I make it look like he's got a really big head. I see you. <laughs> you know, th this guy uh, here, he had no idea that like 50 years in the future, you know, 3,609 people be watching him through a video game, laughing at him, analyzing his hair length and, and the hairline and be like, haha, he's turning bald, you know, that... Do you think he knew? Took picture of trash. Yeah. Not sure what this opened. He is the Devon. <laughs> but Joel, you are bald. Oh yeah. Well, guess what? Well, I have my hair in a ponytail right now. God damn it. I was gonna demonstrate by eating my own hair again, but I'm like, the fuck. <laughs> okay, we're going over there now. Joel's hipster arc. Yeah. Hipster orc, yeah. Okay, you know what's funny? I was thinking about this the other day. So, uh, you know how smash burgers have kind of replaced regular street food burgers, right? Uh, I think we've gone full circle. Because now people are saying like, Oh, fuck, I hate smash burgers. I wish I could have a regular burger. Because, here's the thing, smash burgers were seen as a hipster kind of like thing to eat. And now that the smash burgers have taken over the sort of market for patties, now people are whining about it and now being hipstery about it. You know, like, I want regular, it's so much better. It's over there, but where? I prefer melee burgers. <laughs> melee burgers. Okay, fuck you. What have I missed? Wait, hang on, the exit is there. Oh, no, oh no, no, I still gotta find two more. Damn it. Smashburg is that band that sung about a photograph, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what I would love to do? Uh, two weeks ago I sang karaoke. There's a new bar in town. I had a really good time there, but uh, it made me realize, dude, why don't we ever do a karaoke stream chat? There's gotta be some game on Steam that lets you sing, you know? I'm not sure what, where that led. Wait, I don't think we went in this direction, did we? Employees only? No. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a fire exit here. Don't go in here. What is that? It's creepy. How is Jack gonna sing? Well, you sing. You just type it out. something in my neck. My neck is really, like, stiff. Okay, let's see if there's anything here that leads us to where we gotta go. Uh, la 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 la! Is there anything funnier in the world? Oh, fuck, what's this? Well, 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 look at this. Uh, is there anything funny in the world than, like, those early American Idol contestants that uh, went on there and they were, like, they were not playing characters because it was so early 
that we didn't have that like internet clout that we do today like oh i'm gonna like perform so badly those people that go on those shows i can watch those compilations for hours of people be being offended that like you know simon cowell tells them that they they sound like a cow singing um <laughs> but the problem is i wish i knew what the fuck they were doing today like if i was if i was that person and i sang really badly and had a meltdown on tv I, you know what i would do i would destroy the cameras i'd be like you cannot air this footage it's out of this. You have two ways. Either you destroy the cameras, or you don't stop there. On live television, you just drop your pants and go see. Let the world freak out and forever be immortalized as a, a martyr. I'll show you entertainment. Rip! I don't know what a goatsy would sound like, but I, I guess that like that. I wonder if this has any significance to what the game is here about. Jesus. One more, huh? And I think I know where that might be. Sounds like a rusted door barn opening. What, the goatsy? Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, nice pinky. People have theorized that the Goatsy man is dead. Now, was his was his catastrophic death caused by injuries or was it incidental? Summon a boa, summon a boa. He prolapsed into the afterlife. Rest in peace. Nothing here, huh? Turn on all the sinks. That, that's my that's my game motto. If a game has a sink, it need needs to be pressed. There's a long hallway here, huh? But that's where I gotta go, apparently, yeah. Okay, um, I don't know if this game falls into the liminal, liminal, uh, space category, but it's, you kind of get stuck a little bit as you're wandering around these halls, so. Kinda, yeah. It's not fall damage, thank god. <laughs> Alright, speedrun. It definitely does, Some, somewhat liminal. So, what is liminal? Liminal spaces. Is it just like weird perspectives that seem to go on forever, or like what? What's the? Is it illusions or? It's surreal. It's surreal places. Okay. Do you have one more now? What's this say? Do you lose your keys? Three seven eight oh twenty five. I'm gonna put that down too. Seven three eight. 25. Just empty spaces feels like a dream. Yeah, but what if you have like bad eyesight? Are you just immune to liminal spaces? Like I can't see fucking shit. In fact, dude, honestly, I, I'm I, I feel like I'm getting old. Like my friends can read things far away. And I'm like, you can fucking see what it says there. It's like, yeah, no problem. Like, holy fuck. Like I can't see that far. It's crazy, man. Get glasses, Joey. No, I will not be a four eyes. <laughs> Listen, I, I would have to repay a lot of people. They would laugh at me. They would laugh at me because when I was growing up, people had glasses be like, ha ha, and I have perfect eyesight. I would never. They heard me. I'll have to repay a lot of people some sorries. <laughs> no, but my eyes aren't that bad, but yeah. Last one. He went through the hole here, this guy. I saw him. 
What the fuck? What's, what's behind here? Oh, okay, this is curtains. Uh, what the fuck happened in this hotel, man? It's like a mess. Uh, I gotta check some of these photos I've taken. Out of a thousand, Jesus. It's a lot. Uh, okay, well, I think that's that. Uh, okay. It's coming, Joey. Uh, but the glasses... Uh, Welcome to Hotel California. Okay, suburb. In the city now, I think. Oh, it's Christmas though. Oh, this is very solitary. It's urgent. Your penis pump has arrived. Let's go find Cheryl. Who is it? Santa's coming. Maybe I can go from the... Looks like a really fake door. <laughs> okay. Is it is it green grass in America right now? I mean, in America, but like where you are, you know? Yes. Oh, fuck, really? Oh my god, I'm jealous. So you guys can like barbecue and stuff. Oh, you guys are real lucky, huh? It's always green. What do you fucking live in, Kansas or something? Kansas doesn't get any snow, does it? I don't think so, at least. It does. Uh, here we go. Which is scary. A jump scare that you know is coming or out of nowhere. Uh, a jump scare that is coming. I think, because you know something bad is gonna happen. Instead of like, oh, that was a surprise. Uh, in fact, you know what's even better? A jump scare that... that There's a promise of a jump scare coming in this atmosphere building, and it never comes. Uh, do you remember... Uh, uh, what was that game? Dark Woods? Um, you know the one. It's like top-down game. And late at night... Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Darkwood, yeah. Darkwood has this thing where there's just these creatures or things outside your house at night, and it's fucking scary as hell. Alright, is it going over here? The FBI is involved here now. Alright. What's in here? Remember the, the uh, squirrel stapler game with God is Coming? I thought that was really effective. This is so fucking non sequitur scary, you know. Okay, here I think. Uh, God is here. Uh. Oh yeah, unrelated. I I watched Star Trek Picard season three. Do you want to hear my review of it, or you're like, nah, fuck that. This is gonna go on for too long. Uh. Call Vinny about it. Did Vinny like it? He watched season three, yeah. A little. Well, uh, here's what I thought about Picard season three, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Almost. Uh. Ah, whatever. Okay, sorry, sorry about my bad. Uh, so I, I watched a little bit of Picard season one, and I thought this sucks because I grew up with Star Trek with my family, and the moment they started swearing, I 
frowned. But it was just it's just boring, you know. It was just boring. Um, but I watched season three because they said it was a lot better. The sheer fucking hubris. Uh, but season three I watched, and it felt like a really, really dumb first contact sequel. <laughs> uh, season three was entertaining, but only because it was so silly. Um, it, it felt it felt like I was reading. Uh, Chat GPT's version of a fan fiction of Star Trek. And then Worf shows up and Data is back. Like, it, it was nice that it left, uh, that it tied up loose, or not loose ends, but it was like a final send off. And for better or worse, it was, it was nice. And I was like, that's nice. Um, but it wasn't very good. And it had barely anything to do with Star Trek. Star Trek at its best is when it's about problem solving and the human condition and not necessarily that it's about star trekking it's more sub more sub about our time and place in the universe right it's not about spaceship shooting and blowing up this bro works like it's star wars you know um because i feel i feel the, the the setting and the plot i mean is less important than what the message of of, of an episode can say like, for example, Darmok. Darmok is one of my favorite TNG episodes because it's about communication and how important it is, you know. Uh, and there's how, how a miscommunication can cause problems, you know. And in this new show, it was very much like things are happening. I was entertained, but uh, I felt. Okay, a, a serious, serious review. I feel like it's excellent fan service and it's entertaining, but there's not a lot of message or foundation that it's good built upon. Like, I don't know. Uh, if I were to say it feels hollow, but at the same time, it feels nice to see these, these actors playing these old characters you recognize. So, I, I guess. I, I just feel like Star Trek, I don't want to be a pessimist, but I feel Star Trek is very much a really dead franchise at the moment. Because if it's... It either has to be very nostalgia pandering, or but if it tries something new, it's also very, like, bad. So it, they don't know what to do with it. I don't know. I, I think that's most franchises now. You know, I think... I think uh, that's why chat GPT is so good right now, because last night I, I... Holy shit, what is happening? I think, I think Picard and crew heard me, but I liked Star Trek Picard season 3. It wasn't terrible, but it was very like, what the fuck? Um, but chat GPT, last night I tried it. And I wrote an episode episode of the Avengers. I, I wrote, write me a script to a new Avengers movie, but it's a 90s sitcom. And uh, Iron Man saves the day by taking a nap. And the, the, the plot was basically, Iron Man is really tired and he falls asleep on a table. And when he confronts Thanos, it's like a laugh track, and at the end of the day, he's like, "Well, that." But I, I forgot what it, what happened. But basically, at the end, Thanos is defeated by Iron Man resting up and being focused. But but I, I have to tell you, it gave me a script to something that I was fucking amazed by. Like I I'm actually kind of cautious because th this script was so fucking powerful. I wrote. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show in a 90s sitcom, kind of like, you know, and the plot involves a ghost pizza. Now hear me out, this is actually what happened last night. Do you, do you want me to read you the script? I have it open. I, I have it on my laptop. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, hang on. Okay. You won't fucking believe 
how great this is. Okay, so here's the script to, um... Uh, I said, write an episode about Super Mario and Luigi in a 90s sitcom involving a ghost pizza. Mario in Mario and Luigi's apartment day. Mario and Luigi are sitting on the couch watching TV. Mario, I'm getting hungry. What should we have for lunch? Luigi, oh, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do the voices. He's gonna have to do this, okay? Maybe I should do it like Mario. I don't know what kind of voice I should do. I don't know, let's order a pizza. Mario grabs the phone and dials the number for the local pizzeria. Mario, hi, can I get a large pepperoni pizza? Pizzeria employee, sure thing, it'll be there in 30 minutes. Just then, a gust of wind blows through the room and knocks the pizza box off the coffee table. When they open it, they find that the pizza has turned into a ghost. Luigi, Mario, what are we gonna do? We can't eat a ghost. Mario. We'll have to call in the experts. Cut to Ghostbusters HQ day. Mario and Luigi are sitting in front of the Ghostbusters who are studying the ghost pizza. Egon says, interesting. This pizza seems to be contaminated by a ghost that haunts the pizzeria. We'll have to capture the ghost in order to make the pizza edible again. Peter says, don't worry boys, we'll take care of it. You sit tight and we'll have that pizza back to normal in no time. Cut to pizzeria day. The Ghostbusters are on the scene, setting up their ghost trapping equipment. Ray, okay, we're all set up. Now we just need to wait for that ghost to appear. Suddenly, the ghost pizza begins to move on its own. It floats up in, into the air and starts flying around the pizzeria. Winston says, looks like we got our ghost. Let's get it. The Ghostbusters chase the ghost pizza around the pizzeria, eventually trapping it in a ghost trap. Cut to Mario and Luigi's apartment day. The Ghostbusters return with the ghost trap pizza. Peter, there you go boys, one ghost free pizza. Mario and Luigi are eagerly digging into the pizza, which is now back to its delicious non-ghostly form. Luigi says, mmm, this is the best pizza I've ever had. Mario, yeah, and we owe it all to the Ghostbusters. Peter, don't mention it. We're always happy to help out fellow New Yorkers. The group shares a laugh and the camera fades to black. Fuck! I didn't make that fucking connection! I mean, goddamn! I mean, that's just- that's just fucking powerful. That's powerful shit. I mean, like... Ghostbusters, New York, Mario Brothers. Fuck that- that's it! <laughs> you messed with one of us, you messed with all of us! I think Joey Diaz. I mean, that was, that was fucking beautiful. Can you tell us another story? I have a bunch of stories I saved. I was so bored last night. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you more more stories, I guess. But, yeah, fucking, inc fucking incredible. Like, I, I really like that. <laughs> Fellow New Yorkers. Fucking incredible, huh? Maybe Chat GPD could write a new Super Ghostbusters song. Oh yeah, it, it can do a lot of things, but I'm cautious of it. I'm cautious of it because you know what? A hundred years from now, AI will legitimately make these movies. <laughs> Honestly, I'd see that fucking movie. I would. So, because I was messing around in Chat GPT last night, this gave me an idea. ChatGPT is way, way, way more powerful than the AI stuff that we had about a year ago. Do you remember when I was going to record a fake Metallica album? Uh, using chat algorithms to generate lyrics and stuff like that, right? So, like, was it, what was it called? The other app that was dog shit? What was, what was I using? Like, uh, I, don't, I don't remember what I was using. Like, OpenAI or something like that, right? Uh, this is way more powerful. And the amount of lyrics it can spit out is honestly really funny. I think it was called Talk to Transformer, yeah. I want to do this again. Because, uh... In fact, you know what? You know what? I have chat... Op open chat GPT right now. Give me a prompt. Let's make a rap about something.
make a rap, make a make a '90s rap, rap about Breaking Bad. Breaking, Breaking Bad, but make sure there's references to eating. Eating oysters out of a bathtub. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I gotta activate this thing, Hannah. Give me a second. Joel, stop being stupid, you fool. No, hang, hang on, hang on. This is important. This is important. I, I'm really sorry. If the developer is still watching, you're like, okay, can, can you can you please fuck off with a bit? I, I want you to explore the game and see what more I hit in the game. I'm, I'm very sorry. D don't worry. This, this bullshit will be in for a second. Like, I'm very sorry, Soda Raptor. I'm, I apologize. We'll, we'll get through this. Don't worry. Okay, I think my internet on my laptop is dying. <laughs> I got it. Give me a second, give me a second here. <laughs> Guys, these fucking lyrics. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I need like a fat beat, but just imagine. I'm just gonna rap it like Will Smith raps in the 90s. Yo, let me a <laughs> Yo, let me tell you a story about a name... <laughs> I need to focus, this is so stupid. Yo, let me tell you a story about a man named Bolt. Starting cooking crystal, no more financial fault. He was slipping blue stuff, making ch mad cash, eating oyster of the tub. Life was a flash. Breaking bad, breaking mad, bad, cooking meth, meth in the lab, eating oysters out of the tub. Ain't nobody feeling sad. With a plan to make some money, no more living so crummy. Breaking bad, breaking bad, gotta keep it real yummy. Walt meet Jesse, who was slinging on the street. They cooked up a plan and they did it real neat. The DEA was on their tail. Hank wouldn't let it up. Walt was feeling the heat. Had to pour some cold cups. What? <laughs> Gus Fring came in with a dangerous proposition. Walt had to cook for him under strict supervision. But Walt was too smart. He saw through Gus's plan. He took him out. Now he's the man. <laughs> But things went south when Hank found the truth. Walt's life was unraveling like a broken tooth. In the end, he gave it all up. His family and wealth. He ate oysters out of the tub, reminiscing about his health. <laughs> so th that's a story of a man named Walt who was cooking up some crystal and got caught. He ate some oysters out of the tub and kept it real. Breaking bad, breaking bad, what a thrill. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Somebody chat said no auto tune or mix fire, just straight ass. <laughs> Breaking bad, breaking bad, just cooking up meth in the lab. <laughs> Eating with the tub, ain't nobody feeling sad. <laughs> it's fucking straight ass. So then he did tell it, keep it hidden. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Write me about Breaking Bad. Make sure there's references to... Um... 
what else should be in this? Super, Super Mario cooking spaghetti. Because, you know, cooking meth and spaghetti. Okay, th th this 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 rap here reads like a fucking Newgrounds animation. Oh, don't worry, this is the last thing. I'm just gonna read you this, okay? Yo, it's Jesse and Walt cooking up in the vault. Super Mario on the screen cooking up spaghetti like a dream. Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, cooking up a storm. Yeah, we're getting mad. Eating oysters in a tub, feeling rad. Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, got the blue stuff, making bank. Got my hat on, feeling swank. Super Mario got the sauce, cooking up a dish with no flaws. Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, cooking up a storm. Yeah, we're getting mad. Eating oysters in a tub, feeling rad. Breaking Bad, <laughs> dodging cops, gotta stay low. Super Mario, Got the dough, cooking up a spaghetti, feeling right, feeling tight, gonna make it through the night. Oh my god. Super Mario cooking up a feast, breaking bad, yeah, we, we're the beasts, eating oysters in a tub, it's a treat, breaking bad, can't be beat. This is getting deranged. Sweet ass. That's enough. Enough. <laughs> the, the ass is banger. Spitting straight water. <laughs> okay, would you like me to sit around and do chat GPT rap songs? I'll get like a proper beat and everything. But they have to be just about like oysters e eating oysters out of a bathtub, you know. I, I think this could be very fun. I'm very uh, once again. Apologies to Soda Raptor, the developer watching this. I mean, I'm not familiar if they have seen my content or not, and I feel like if they just watched it and be like, "Oh man, check out the game," and it's just non sequitur, unfunny bits. I sincerely do apologize. Okay. Let's see here. They left. Okay. Got another one here, I think. Yep. It's like a face or something. Actually, like kind of a short level. Okay, what the? There's a giant sink meteor here. What the fuck happened here? I guess that's why the FBI is involved, because of the the aliens, I guess. What the fuck was that? Okay, well, there we go. I think that's it, yeah. Hmm. Breaking bad. Breaking bad. <laughs> Karaoke with chat GPT stream. Uh, my god. Uh, we gotta find the Duende too. I mean, I don't know where he is on the level, but. Uh, hmm. How the fuck can a developer, developer psychologically torment a man that sings about eating oysters from a tub? When will you admit that it's not AI generated lyrics and it's just from Will Smith? Breaking bad, breaking bad. Have you guys seen the trailer for the new uh, Always Sunny? Hold, was that you saw the UFO I saw in the sky? Fuck, what was that? Uh, yeah, fucking uh, Wal Walter and Jesse's in it. I'm not even kidding you. They just show up. It's gonna be real interesting to see where it goes. 
Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. I know his name is Aaron Paul, the fucking Brian Cranston. I, I don't think actors, I don't think actors and characters is the same thing. The No King. So I can find the the Duende. I mean, I haven't seen him yet. Maybe something. Some. It's got to be in the park. It's got to be in the park. I have a feeling. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you'd be hanging around here, huh? I fucking knew it, man. Huh? <coughs> Let's see what else we got to. Soul stolen. <laughs> okay, I have an idea, maybe. This is so Silent Hill, you might, might look at this, uh, Trenton. Uh, I have an idea where he might be. Maybe. Maybe. What's this? I'm the guy who wipes down the loads. <laughs> Planning on playing the new Silent Hills. Uh, when is it coming out? Uh, welcome to a qu Quiet Pines. Uh-huh. Right, I get it. I understand the subtle nuances. Never. <laughs> well... Will they play Tears of the Kingdom? Yes. Uh, I said this at the start of the stream. We'll be checking out... Uh, uh, we'll be checking out Tears of the Kingdom, but first I'm gonna do a Breath of the Wild custom modded stream. But, uh, yeah, there's gonna be... But you're gonna get so sick of it. You're gonna get so sick of it, because the game is gonna be so large. And, uh... You know, it'll always be streamed. You'll, you'll quickly lose interest in it. Because it'll be me rapping about oysters. I don't know why. I thought it was a dog at first. <laughs> a bad eyes. But, uh, yeah, I, I just hope I can fit all of it into, uh, this week, you know, because I'm also editing the highlight video for the Duende stuff, so, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Should be able to do it. I know it's in the, but I think, I, th it, I think, wait a minute, I think I know, give me a second. Not here. Uh, nothing here either. Okay. What? Hang, hang on. Ah. Okay. Fine. Just gonna head to the exit then. Does anybody else feel that I wish games could come come out like later? Maybe it's just something to do with age, but like for me, games come out too quickly these days. <laughs> like I wish they could be like just hold on, hold on. I got, fuck, this guy's coming out in a week, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any expectations of Breath of the Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, but... I'll say this, I wish there was a completely new game, almost. Uh, um, I know Breath of the Wild was incredibly successful, but, I mean, I, I, I kind of wish it was like a, a new, new Zelda game, you know. Maybe Tears of the Kingdom will be the Majora's Mask of, of this, but... I don't know. I understand why they're also do, doing it, because, you know, it is so incredibly successful, but... Wrong neighborhood, though. Oh, fuck, Freddy Fazbear? Uh, the theater... Um, it's already leaked? Yeah, I know, but... I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead, though. Horror movie night. Uh, we gotta do a vineyard soon, actually. Yeah. Quick question, guys. Uh, it's almost. It's actually over midnight. Shit. Uh, how many levels is left of the game? Uh? Actual movies play here, by the way. No way. What? Uh, there's two levels left. Uh, I can do a part two of this, I suppose. Uh, 
I just want to go and see if I can actually find the movies in here. I know Night of the Living Dead is public domain, so, you know, it should be fine. Can I go in here? Uh, no. Joel, so what's your go-to candy for movie theaters? I honestly, uh... I try not to get any candy. Um... Because I am such, like, a fucking... I'm a popcorn devourer. Like you wouldn't believe. Like, I can't sit there with a tub of popcorn. Because it's just like... And, like... I feel like I'm a freak in the theater. Like, dude, what? You're always... You're halfway done? I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know? It's almost better that, like, my friend has popcorn. So I can be like, hey, can I get some more? You know? Because I, I can't control myself with popcorn, dude. You know? See if we can turn this on now. It's another one here, but hang on. Let's see if there's a movie playing. Hmm. Oh. Oi oi oi. Well, shit. Let's just watch this guy. Sir. Impromptu vineyard. Make it extra spooky like this, right? Fuck, we're watching the original Morbius. Guys, guys, I just realized, you know what we're doing? We're doing cam rips. Because we're sitting here doing this and uploading it to Kaza, right? Cam rip. Wait, hang on, let me let me do the actual, actual cam rip quality. And it's Mario. Oh fuck, Bowser. So what? What is this? What is this? What is this movie? Well, we're gonna figure it out. Meanwhile, in Dracula's castle. This is a screaming skull. Wasn't the screaming skull a mystery science theater? Haven't I? Oh fuck you! Oh fuck you! Uh oh, froge! <laughs> fuck there he is! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ! Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Oh my god, I nearly, I nearly fucking had a heart attack. Oh my god, that, that was, that was ridiculous. That chat GPT thing costed a lot of gameplay, I'm sorry. It wasn't that funny, but <laughs> I thought it was. But guys, 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 it's almost 1 a.m. I have a compromise. I'll tell you what. I want to do the uh, Forgotten uh, Star Wars games, but um, here's the thing. Uh, it's getting a little late, and I suggest this. Would you like in the morning from like eight, nine hours from now, if I go to sleep now and I wake up, a Voice of the Void stream as well as Star Wars. Cool. Because it's getting a little late now and I wanna do a lot of streaming, but uh it's just it's just too late right now, so you know. Just just just, just keep in mind if I can't make it, just <laughs> don't fault me for it. It depends. Uh he hates European viewers. No, it's like like seven to nine hours from now, I guess, uh, you know, uh, gonna fault it so hard. You, just, just mods, write down every single individual in chat that is being pedantic and saying, you won't do it. Let's write down a hit list, right? And uh, let's make a script in C++. So when I go live in nine hours, every single one of these guys snipe like, And when they log into chat, it's gonna be a 
video that says you're wrong you know right <laughs> just anger yes yeah, streaming should be about resentment make chat gpt write the code kill all right guys but listen i gotta quit here but i will continue uh i will continue interior worlds i thought it was a really excellent game full of atmosphere and i like little collect-a-thon games like this and there's no jump scares or nothing like that it's just very straight legit just uh atmosphere and i like i like the creepy aspect to it definitely so i really like it i really really like it i'm definitely going to do a part two of this and finish it too so there we go but ladies and gentlemen guys i gotta quit the show somewhere uh i'm sorry it's only a actually a longer it's actually a four hour stream but uh, i actually have new neighbors now um and i want to be cool with my neighbors and i don't want to be a dick and stream in the middle of the night because listen uh they they go up and work at like six in the morning and I would be furious if my neighbor kept making duende noises all night. Be like, dude, fuck this guy. So I'm just going to take it easy tonight, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> me, 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 me. That apartment was suck. You get new neighbors every few months. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. You know, the last neighbors got scared, <laughs> you know, but uh, no midnight drilling. <laughs> alright guys I'll see you soon, thanks for watching and tip of the day that I have by, by the way, uh, I know the art backlog is growing stronger and stronger uh, next Tuesday I have decided to um, make the art backlog a complete thing because we have a bit of anniversary or a, a thing I want to announce you know, there's a friend collab on the board right now, if you're an artist uh, you can check out the board right now for to enter in into a little uh, fun compilation thing. So you know, check that out. But I want to dedicate a stream just to checking out the board art art backlog because we actually got lost in what I checked off and I didn't check off. But we actually updated the uh, the backlog to be more representative of what I've missed and what I haven't. So there was a bit of a problem uh, where I like, did I see this? Did I not? But we have actually cleared that off now. So we actually know what exactly is checked off and not. So there's that. But I apologize once again for the arc being not shown. But uh, on Tuesday, that will be cleared. So, you know. But thanks for being patient as always. I really appreciate you, uh, the fact that you guys stick around and you're waiting, willing to wait for the art and stuff like that. I, I, I will fucking get this done on Tuesday. So, there we go. But, uh, guys, thank you once again for tuning in, watching. Um, I will see you in about 9, 10 hours or something with Voice of the Void and the Star Wars stuff. So, you know, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll see you around. And tip of the day, as I said, was... Uh, check out French Toast. I made French Toast, like, four days ago, and... God damn, it's good. It turns any shitty bread into amazing bread. Get French t toast in ya. It's really good. That's a good tip. <laughs> good night. Oh yeah, I gotta check who's, who's live right now. Limes is live with... Uh, Breath of the Wild. Robus is live. Uh, I'm gonna host... Uh, host Limes. You can watch Mzala over there. Alright, peace out everybody. Take care and uh, God bless and uh, don't masturbate because your hands will get hairy, I guess. Good night.